With the release of ExpressLRS version 3.4, there are now four methods to bind your receiver to your transmitter. I'm going to walk you through all four. The first option is Betaflight. You simply have to connect your receiver to your Betaflight board. Remember to cross those RX and TX lines. And then you also need the latest version of Betaflight, which as of this video is 10.10. .10. So what I'll do first is turn my radio on. And then we'll connect the Betaflight board. And I'm going to show you that it's not working right now. There is no bind. So if I click on the receiver page and move my stick, you see there's no movement on the receiver indicators over there on the left-hand side. And you also notice I've got a solid flashing light on my receiver right here. The next thing I'll do is show you this receiver setup real quick. First thing you do under ports is figure out which UART you're using. In my case, I'm using UART 1 for my receiver, and therefore I'll set UART 1 to be Serial RX. That's this option right here. And then on the Receiver tab, you'll need to select your receiver mode. In my case, I have a Serial Receiver connected via UART. If you have one of those built-in receivers on the board, you might need SPI. And then finally, we have CRSF set as the Serial Receiver Protocol. Now with those options set, the next thing to do is go into the CLI and on this bar right here at the bottom, we're gonna type the phrase bind and then just hit tab. So it's bind underscore RX. We'll hit the enter key and then we'll load up our Lua on the radio. We'll press system and then express LRS. And then we'll go down to the bind option right here at the bottom and we'll click on that. And we should see that switch to a solid red light. That means it's bound. And then we'll exit the CLI on beta flight. We can do that just by clicking on receiver. It'll exit out and you just have to reconnect. And there we go. There's the receiver page. And when I move my sticks, you can see we've got a bind. All right, that's option one, beta flight. The next option to bind your receiver is via the use of binding phrases. In order to configure a binding phrase, there are two ways to do it. The first way is through the Express LRS configurator. So load the configurator up, pick the release version you want, the target for your particular hardware. In my case, it is Radio Master, and I'm using an RP3-H receiver. I'll select flashing method Wi-Fi. You can also use Betaflight pass-through or UART if you want. And then you'll come down here to this field that says binding phrase. Put a check mark in there and just pick a phrase that you can remember. In my case, for this example, I'll use my bind phrase. And then pick whatever other options you want. Hopefully you'll have an IP address down here at the bottom. If not, I'll put a link in the description for Wi-Fi modes explained on ExpressLRS so you can learn how to do this portion of ExpressLRS configuration. And then finally, the last thing we'll do is hit flash. Flash. And when you hit flash, the Express LRS configurator will download the binary and flash it to your receiver. With that status complete, the next thing you need to do is flash the same binding phrase on your transmitter. In my case, I'm using an internal Express LRS module on a TX16S radio. Your hardware may be different. You'll have to consult your manufacturer or whatever other instructions you have on how to flash your transmit module. In my case, all I have to do is plug the USB-C cable in from my computer into the USB-C port right on the top of the radio, and then I'll select USB Serial VCP. Now back on the configurator, we simply change our device from the RP3-H receiver to a TX16S internal 2.4, and we'll leave it on edge TX pass-through. I'll make sure my binding phrase is the same. It shouldn't be changed. And then I'll scroll down to the bottom and pick the right device. In my case, it says B1 open TX, and then I'll hit flash. Once you see this writing message occur, you should be all set. Now that the configurator is done flashing the radio, we can verify that we have a bind. I'll disconnect the USB-C cable from the radio and use it to provide some power to my receiver. And we're looking for a solid red light on that receiver. And there we go, solid red light, we've got a bind, we're all set. That's option number two, that's binding phrases. Keep in mind, you can also configure your binding phrase via the web UI of the receiver and the transmitter. The third method is a much more traditional method, and that's simply by pressing the bind button on the receiver. The first thing I'll do is put the receiver in bind mode simply by using an instrument and pressing the bind button on this receiver for about two seconds. 
And then once you've done it for two seconds, you'll see these dual rapid flashes. That's bind mode. The next thing we'll do is open up the Lua for Express LRS. We'll scroll down to the bottom and click on bind. And when we do that, this light will go solid. There it is. Now it's bound. And you can see I've got signal right there on the top bar. And the fourth way to bind the receiver is by power cycling it three times in a row. So I'll connect power until I see a light. There's once, twice, three times, and there's that double blinking light indicating we're in bind mode. Next, I'll turn on my radio. Let's go. Open the Express LRS Lua. We'll scroll down to the bottom and hit bind and we'll look for a solid light. There it is, solid light. And we back out and we should see signal strength right here on the top bar. If you like this kind of content, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the bell. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy and go fly something.